the FCT High Court presided over by Justice Wosui Iheme in a case filed in July 2024 by Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for feigning against Mr. Martins Vicent Ote, otherwise known as Red Dark Man, has been adjourned. Indefinitely, the vacation court has early granted an injunctive order returning Mr. Martin Ote, otherwise known as Red Dark Man, to maintain status quo on the said matter. After August adjournment, the court was set for definite hearing of all applications on September 6, 2024. Samuel, in his statement, debunked the claims that he has abandoned the case in court without writing to the court. While responding to the press, he said, In respect of this matter, quite extensively for personal reasons, I could not make it to court. Promptly at that 9 o'clock, I was on transit on air for some medical reasons and could not be able to attend the proceeding promptly as I ought to because of the sensitive nature of the matter. It is very important as I wrote to the court to bring it to the light of the court on the second stand for a stand down but the court on its wisdom actually choose on the application of the counsel of Martin Ose otherwise known as very dark man. On the application he sought for a cost of 200,000 naira, giving the court a very funny and very thin excuse with all due respect to him. The court rejected that award of course because I have been upright and my character for the beginning of the matter has shown a lot of burdens and propped persecution so the court declined and we should also understand that this is the matter that was originally signed and set for the FCT High Court Vacation Court for the period of August to September. We are already in September. The vacation court, I think they have less than six or five days and we have a lot of sundry applications on our part and on the part of defendants Martin Sose otherwise known as very dark man. Counsel to the plaintiff however said there is an interesting twist to this matter. The last date I was served some court process with. I have responded to in all the right channel. We discover a lot of discrepancies in the document displayed originated and lead upon by the defendant in this matter. We are going to be having a trial inside a trial in the sense is the purport received which I will make available to the press that Mrs. Martin's also origin to have used to buy the said spiritual item. We have discovered that those receipts more particularly number 1527 and the other one in the number we have discovered that the receipt in question actually do not exist in any ramification is actually from wherever he gets it from. The implication is that the receipt is uttered and it is forged. I have made the receipt available for the press. The police have done an intensive investigation on the matter. The report I believe by now could be out and that we have brought before this court. We have filled it as a process and displayed the particular character of that receipt to show that receipt is not just uttered, it is forged. It is forged by the defendant in order to clothe him with the locals to sue in this matter and two, he also lacked the jurisdiction to enforce any provision of the NAVDAC Act on anybody or whosoever. He is not the Attorney General of the Federation. He has no voice. He has no competence within the meaning of the NAVDAC Act. So anything he is actually doing is not right and it is condemnable. The defender lead counsel Ademola Oyedunkun, while addressing the press immediately after the vacation court adjourned indefinitely said, in the last sitting of the court, the position is that all the pending application which include their motion for interlocutory injunction and our own motion to stop them from selling unlicensed already start an unapproved product is sold for today for hearing but unfortunately we are in court today and the counsel to the church counsel to prophet jeremiah omuto fufeni failed to show up and he did not send a letter to the court only the representative of the church one miss christ Santu Ume Aleke informed the court that Kansu is out of town. One we think that the case of this magnitude that everybody takes serious include the parties and lead counsel thereto. 
Ademola ESQ wondered why a lawyer will not show up. In his statement, a big film of Pad Legal of Mrs. Samuel, who has many councils in his office, no representative came for that law office. And we consider that a game of hide and seek has started, and we will not condone that. That is why we asked the court to grant us a cost of 200,000 naira. But in the opinion of the court, the court thought that this is the first time they are seeking an adjournment, and the court did not award the cost of 200,000 naira. And as we all know, that this court is a vacation court and vacation end next week so the presiding judge has now returned the case file to the chief judge for assignment so the honorable chief judge of fct will reassign the case file to another justice of this fct high court of hearing of the pending application and substantive trial so as of today there is no definite date for coming back but the case has gone back to chief judge who will now give it to a regular court that we hear the case from beginning to the end so we we get another date for the judge that will be assigned guys no be smart you know this is becoming interesting hmm. oh guys please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel go now and subscribe this is the end of this video see you guys in my next video i love you guys bye bye